Ako po si Peng. Ako si Patrick. Since we are stuck in the house, my mom and I decided to make a yummy merienda that everyone can enjoy. And this merienda makes use of isn't readily available ingredients. O nga po, since dahil sa ating lockdown or enhanced community quarantine, marami pong bagay-bagay na hindi natin nagagawa at hindi rin natin nabibili. Kaya hindi rin natin nakakain yung mga gusto natin kainin. So for today, Patrick and I decided to make something that is readily available in our pantry. So, ang main ingredient po nito ay sardinas. Sigurado po ako lahat ng bahay-bahay ngayon ay merong sardinas. Lalo na po yung nabigyan na ng ayuda ni Mayor. Di po ba? O kaya ba yung mga nag-hoard ng mga sardinas ng napakaraming sardinas? Anyway, eto po tayo ngayon for today. Gagawin po natin yun ngayon at eto po yung ating recipe. Wash our hands for at least 20 seconds or two happy birthdays. Songs. Songs. Okay. So let's go. Let's wash our hands. Now that our hands are clean, now we can start cooking. Para po sa ating pandesal, dapat po hiwain natin sa gitna like this. At gagawin po natin siyang dalawa. Okay? Ang ating sardinas naman po, i-drain namin siya, natin siya, using a strainer. We need 3 tablespoons of tomato paste and a pinch of Italian seasoning. Ito po optional lang. Kapag wala po kayo nito, okay lang po. Grated cheese, or I use quick melt cheese, pero whatever cheese you have at home, pwede niyo pong gamitin. Cheddar, mozzarella, Quick melt. Green bell pepper po, cut into strips, and optional din po ang ating chili flakes kung gusto niyo magkaroon ng konting ang hang ang inyong pizza. Ngayon po, we will toast the bread. Ito preference ko lang to. Kung gusto niyo, uh, pwede rin yung skip to. Pero ako mas gusto kong itong part na to, kung saan natin kinat yung pandesal, ito toast natin siya sa isang pan. Like this. Saglit lang po para mas ma, mas uh, crispy siya. If you don't uh, If you don't want, skip na lang po natin itong ano na to, um, part na to, then go straight to assembling your pizza. Yeah, tama ka siya. There. After that, ilalagay na po natin yung ating sardines. So, since ang sabi, we can, we can, I think malaki yung isang sardines, di po ba? So, ang gagawin ko, hahatiin ko sa dalawa. So, pag hinati natin ganyan, pwede na natin yan. At least, malalagyan na lahat. So, bawat isa, nalagyan po natin ng sardines. So, we need 3 4 cups of cheese po. We will divide that. 
into 6. You can put as much of you as you want or as little as you want. Depende na po sa preference nyo. Oh, I like cheese. Kaya gusto ko datamihan ko yung cheese. Pero syempre, kailangan lahat malagyan ng cheese. Not everyone can eat cheese. Because sometimes... Yes, I know. But so what is a pizza that. without cheese? Diba masarap ang cheese? I know, but I'm lactose intolerant. That's the problem. Okay, so... Okay na yan. Now, can you add... Ay, dito konti pa. Can you now add... No, no, you use the tongue. Thanks. Add uh, two or three depends on the... No, no, no. You add one at a time. Yan. Medyo i-sink natin ng konti. Ilulubog natin ng konti yung bell pepper. Okay. Pwede nyo pong i- Huwag nang ilagay ang bell pepper kung ayaw ng mga bata ng bell pepper. Preference niyo po yun. For extra ano, para maging extra spicy, lalagyan ko ng konting chili flakes. Now, ready na po yung ating pantisal para itoast natin ulit para mag-melt ang cheese. tayo para itoast ang ating pizza. Dahan-dahan, Patrick. Don't be pick. Okay, just slide it in. Slide. <laughs> Ayaw. Okay. So, be careful lang po sa paglalagay para hindi tumuwad yung ating baka mag-flip. Yes. Very good. Good job, Patrick. Now, we will cover it para kumatoast para mas madaling mag-melt ang ating cheese. Ang gagamitin pa natin dyan ay low fire lang para hindi masunog. Now, another option po, po ninyo, tatlo lang po nilagay kong pizza doon, pagdisal. The other three, itatry po natin sa toaster oven. So now, do it back. You need a little push like that, ha? Put it in. Okay, so now, we do the last one. Okay, good job. for around five minutes until the cheese melted. Now we're ready to, to bring it out. It looks yummy, Pat. Yes, it does. Okay, so now we're going to get the ones that we placed inside the toaster oven. Yeah. We have two options, eh? So either this Either the, the the improvised oven there, which we you uh, which we did by making use of a pot, or our toasted oven. Okay, dahan dahan pot. Oops, we flip it. There you go. You know we found out, Patrick, that it is is the cheese melted easier or faster. In the toaster oven. So, paano mas maganda yung toaster oven rather than the improvised oven that we make you saw? So, now, here's our pizza pandesal. Mm -hmm.